Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana, yeah, quite stable at the moment, hovering around the $106, $107 mark. We talked about a micro support level in the last video. This hasn't broken yet, but also at the same time, there isn't really a very bullish reaction to it. So we are going to take a look at that in this video. I still see here a potential five wave move to the upside on the four hour time frame. This is the bigger picture. I want to cover that at least once a day because we get a lot of new viewers in Solana videos and everybody should be on the same page. The idea is still that this year between June and July was a wave one. Three wave move, therefore the entire move is a diagonal pattern. Wave two to the downside, wave three to the upside. Then we are dealing now with the main question. Is this wave three already over or do we get one more extension higher? I am still leaning towards one more extension, slightly at least, uh, but the length of the third wave already tells us that it's basically, yeah, it's basically done what it needed to do. It's reached the ideal targets. It's even reached extended targets. We don't need one more high. Therefore, I can't really strongly lean towards one more high. Okay, it's fulfilled the expectations. The only reason why I'm leaning towards one more high because on the microstructure, when I look at the microstructure, it would just look better with one more high, but it's absolutely not needed. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's literally a question if, if the bulls can hold support or not. Because we're currently holding support, uh, I'm slightly leaning towards it. But also have to say that so far the market isn't giving me a high confidence pattern there. So we're going to zoom in in a minute. Then we should get this wave four at some point, you know, uh, end of wave five. So basically the main question is what, what's happening here? Do we get one more high? Maybe to round about 135 $147 or do we go down directly in the wave four? Okay, so in the scenario in which we get one more extension, we would see the wave four afterwards. Then we should get a wave five. So it's an overall bullish scenario. We will have to see what happens after that. Um, there will be options. I will talk about them, but we're not even, we haven't even completed wave four yet. Okay, so that is probably months out um, and way too early to um, discuss because there will be a diff few different options. I don't want to confuse you. Always try to keep it as simple as possible while also giving you the options that matter, in my opinion, very important. So now let's take a look at this one hour time frame because here we will have the decision if the market can put in another extension, which you can see here in the white wave count, or if we are in yellow. And the yellow pathway to the downside Let's start with that first. That's not yet the primary scenario, but the levels tell me when I have to start looking for it primarily. So in the yellow count, this could simply be an A, B, C structure. And this could then be a larger A wave. Then we move up in wave B and move down in C. That's basically the microstructure that I can see now for the short-term bearish scenario in which the wave three already topped. In this scenario, the $97.30 level, pretty much the 38.2 retracement level here, the level that was touched already on the 28th of December, that's key. A break below that level would likely send it down lower in A, but the price still would have one more chance to hold at $89.80. Would look a bit strange with this structure though, but let's see, I mean, the market could still hold it at 89.80. Really, it takes a sustained break below that level for me to suggest that really the larger degree fourth wave is indeed unfolding. Not crystal clear yet because the move down so far was just a three wave move that always leaves the door open for higher. It would be more simple uh, had this move down been a five wave move, but it hasn't been. So three waves, so therefore it could be a larger A wave. Yep. Um, or it's already finished here. That's the problem with three wave moves. But again, that's one of the reasons why I'm leaning towards one more extension, coupled with the idea that, okay, it would look better with one more high and we're holding above support. But again, you know, that, that opinion will change once we break below support. Um, okay, so, and then in the short term bullish scenario, I actually have potential scenario already on the chart, which is currently being challenged. And in this one, we had already a wave one, a wave two, off wave five, of three. This year would be an A wave, the move down a B wave. And we should get one more high in wave C in this scenario. This will be invalidated with a break below, well, 
probably already, let me just check something. Yeah, I mean, really the invalidation point would be down here around $99.70, right? That would be the, the invalidation point, um, the wave too low. But obviously, I don't really want to have the B wave sustain below the 78.6 retracement. That's at $103.13. But as long as that box is holding, a C wave to the upside is something we can watch for. But the way it's coming down, it's, it's not high probability, I would say. But it's, you know, it's a support level, it's a pivot. So we'll see if the market reacts to it. it. Hasn't really reacted to it yet. And if we then see a break above yesterday's high, it could send us higher in wave C. That would form a wave three, four, five, and so on, okay? So as long as we're holding support and break above resistance, it will send us higher in this pattern. And then we have upside targets around 134, 147. Might be the way it's going right now as we observe it. I think Bitcoin is coming down a bit. Um, it might be that we are already coming down. And if that happens, I told you the invalidation point and the next main support is then $97.34 and $89.80. Yeah, that's my update about um, Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.